this is probably going to be the most spontaneous and most random video on my channel this is about 11 a.m i've not even had my bath i was doing some school work when it just struck me that i've been finding flimsy excuses to not make videos on youtube plus i've made a 20k q and a long long ago but i deleted the video for some reason i was not just feeling the video so as i was here i was like why not just make a video like that so this is not planned i did not plan this video yesterday it's just at this moment and i'm going to make it like that i hope i will not change my mind and delete it so i'm going to be answering some of your questions and um, as we go along the day i will keep answering more of them i will answer in just a few years so the first question i want to take is can a doctor be a graphic designer freelancer assuming one has passion for both absolutely you can be something else you can be a doctor it's, it's, it starts from medical school and trust me i have friends in medical school too that are doing other things like they just have passion for both of them and they balance it so yes you can balance more than once in medical school first you have to actually don't let me talk too much about this because the video i was planning i've scripted this video but i've not made it yet because of my flimsy excuses so I'm going to make that video and talk more about how I balance medicine and extracurricular activities I do. So the last question I'm going to answer here before I go have my bit then go to school because I need to go study on campus. Yeah, I'm actually not staying on campus at the moment. I'm going to tell you everything in this video. I feel it's a good time to get in touch with each other again. Like we've had this disconnect for a little while. So the next question is what specialty do you have in mind? At this moment, I do not have any specialty in mind. I'm keeping my options wide. I know as we go along, you are going to find the things you are interested in. So when we start going to different rotation and different departments, it was the way medical school work is during your clinical years, you're going to be having rotation in different departments. During this process, I'm going to find which one I like. And but for now, I'm keeping my you know options wide. Yeah, last time you saw me was yesterday and today is another day and it's about 10 a.m. already today. So yesterday I spent the whole of yesterday filling my um, physiology practical man and so it took the whole of my day and I, I actually have a test on on Monday, next week Monday. Today is Friday by the way and you know how ready I am. I am like 10% ready. So in the next three, two days Today is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Between today and Sunday, I have to enter my ultimate state. Like, and it's quite a lot. The test we're having is quite a lot. We are going to be dealing with a lot of things. So I have to, you know, intensify my preparation between those days. All right, let me take another of the questions. And you can, yeah, I'm going to take one more question. Then the next question I'm going to take is, um, after medicine, to stay and practice in Nigeria or to travel abroad. Okay, I'm crossing the road now. So, actually, I'm really not that enthusiastic about jack mine and stuff. I, maybe, except to for that, for now, I don't really know. I might change my mind on the long run. But now, I would rather practice in Nigeria. So, I just want to go and complete. I went to print some stuff and we are submitting our manual for practical today after that we just go back to hostel but i'll see you again next time when i'm free yeah so this is saturday night 11 pm past 11 actually it's almost midnight on sunday and my exam is monday by the way my test and like i'm 60 percent ready i think this is the largest exam our largest test i keep using the word exam actually it feels like an exam because what why would we be calling it a test something that okay for this particular test we are to we're expected to know 72 topics and that's all the topics that we've been taught and this covers every system in physiology of the body like we are this is the last physiology test we'll be doing in preclinical before our MB and it covers every single thing like we're expected to know everything and you know do you know what's funny about it we'll be given five questions it is going to be an essay and we're expected to know 
like answer all the five questions if you can answer just one of the five questions according to the lecturers they said if you fail to answer one of them then there's a chance you'll not even be able to get up to 50 in the i mean in the test so uh, it's been really stressful trying to have an idea of every single of those 72 topics i've been like i've been studying since friday and it just feels like it's not going to end you know i'll just try my best and leave the rest to god but that's just it sorry it is very dark and good night and we just finished the test and like i'm just thankful to god because well first of all the test was quite a lot though let me show you the question paper the, we had we had um five questions like i've said in the previous time you saw me and out of those five questions two are long like let me show you i'm going to show you what i'm trying to describe but the time was barely enough I, I i was so lucky that some of the things i revised yesterday came out i'm very thankful to god like some of the things i just revised yesterday things that i did not know prior to like three days ago i never even really read them because in the slide it was not well explained so it was just yesterday i checked it and thank god it came out or thank god th everything that came out were things i know something about though the time was i did not manage my time properly but that's one lesson i've learned so in mb period i'm going to you know ensure to go with the wristwatch and try to manage my time properly right now my lips are dry i'm very thirsty i've not drank water today and it's kind of i'm desamatan also so that's it i'll find somewhere to sit then probably end this video answer some of the other q and a in the you know video so this is the last part of this 20k q and a and this is my room in Belo. if you've always watched my previous videos you know that i i've always stayed off campus but due to the long strike i had to move to campus which at that time seemed like the most reasonable decision but now is kind of affecting my creative freedom i can't really make videos when i want to hear yeah, and stuff in fact i do i do not sleep here because we have two bunks in this room and we are three occupants in this room so i have to put my bed on the floor and i don't want to so i had to move my stuff to my friend's place off campus and i kind of juggle off campus and on campus i'm going to be doing this till we write our mb but i'm actually looking for accommodation off campus now close to that's a long story don't let me talk about that so let me take this moment to answer a few more questions actually there are some there are many more questions and i've lost them okay let me just answer a few more questions and i promise that the next q a is going to be more reasonable than this one i feel i feel this video is just to break the inertia i know once i put this one out i'll be able to put subsequent videos out so the next question says that how does it feel to be at 20k subscribers actually i feel grateful that i'm in a position where i can provide genuine help to people and like it just gladdens my heart and makes me feel good when people come to my dm and tell me how my videos have been helpful and stuff and the more amazing part which is a little weird is when people meet me in person and say oh are you medical like people stare at me a lot and still i feel like a celebrity now okay that's just a part of it the other part is that getting this many subscribers besides let me just say this that i'm not rich yet i think this youtube team makes people think i'm like super rich now so i don't have money to upgrade my youtube setup like to get the proper camera i still use the same phone i've always used from the beginning i don't have a proper apartment the background look at how dirty this is so considering all this i'll be like can you imagine someone with 20k subscribers you know see this this is ridiculous isn't it <laughs> but it is what it is if the videos are helpful i know sometimes i feel like as someone with 20k subscribers i should not be posting ridiculous videos and it's actually affecting me there are some videos I really want to just make, but I will overthink it. That okay, I think I've, I've grown better than making videos with such a ridiculous background and using front-facing camera. But till when I have enough money to 
properly upgrade my setup i think i'll just continue to make the videos like that i, I believe many people don't really care i'm just about thinking everything so that's one of the other side of being a 20 key like i'm not free to post things i really want to post like before but honestly it has been amazing and i'm very grateful to god for this amazing community i'm grateful that you subscribe like you watching this for you to even click this video there's a very great chance you've been watching my previous videos and for you watching to this extent because this video i feel is, is going to be very boring because it is totally out of the blues it is not planned and stuff i'm not even getting enough clips i've been spending my previous days like reading for the most part and what i'm promising from today like i'm going to make i have quite a number of videos like i've written down and i know they are going to be definitely helpful thank you very much i appreciate the fact that you've subscribed and if you've not subscribed i know you're going to subscribe now there are many more questions but i feel this is a good place to end the video in the next q and a i'm going to answer many questions about myself peace out